three. So this one is to do with um, you've got a triangle, right angled. All right, so that's important, right angle. And work out the value of x. So the x is referring to the length of this side here. So what is the length of this side of the triangle? Um, give your answer to three significant figures. So we've got to round it up at the end. All right. So what have we got? We've got an angle. So whenever we've got an angle involved, then we're going to be thinking about um, Sokotoa. All right. So it's our trigonometry question. Sokotoa. And we need to start by the first step is to label the triangle. So you should know how to label your triangle with an O, an A, and a H, because those are the letters that are in Sokotoa. We've also got an S, a C, and a T, and they refer to the buttons on your calculator. All right, so sine, uh, cos, and tan. You probably can't see that very clearly. Let me just highlight that in a different color for you. So the three buttons you're looking at when you're doing a bit of trig is the sine, the cos, and the tan buttons on your on your calculator. If you haven't got a scientific one, you need to get one for your exam. All right. So I'm trying to get back to a blue color. So let's start labeling our triangle. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So this side will always be H opposite the right angle. You look to your angle that you're given. So I'm given this angle here. Which side is opposite the angle? That would be the X. So that's our O. All right. Opposite means opposite the angle you are given. And then the adjacent side is the last one. Okay. And the adjacent side always makes the angle that you're given with the hypotenuse. Those two sides form your angle here. All right. And now you need to eliminate one of them. All right. You only ever want to be working with two of these, um, two of these letters. So we want to work, we, we've been given H, so H is useful. And I want to work out O. So I'm going to keep those two. I don't want to work with A on this question. All right, so we're going to cancel A out of our thinking. And then we look at Sokotoa. There's only one part of Sokotoa that has O and H in it. And that is this part here. O and H. It's the soft part. All right, so... These, these Sokotoa comes in sets of three, S-O-H, C-A-H, and T-O-A. These are how you set out your formulas. So if you don't know how to set the formulas out, go and revise that. Let's look at the soft part, okay? So that's the bit we're using. You can put it into a nice triangle, the formula, because then it'll tell you how to work out whichever bit you're after. Now, I know that it goes S first, bottom left O in the middle is always on the top and H is the furthest one this way so H goes there I'm trying to work out O so I'm, I would I would cover up O if I had my was able to do that I'm just gonna cross that out for a minute I'm looking for O so I'm not I'm gonna try to work this out so I look at the rest of the, the triangle this means times when they're both on the bottom so it actually means we're doing S times H now S as I said stands for sine so it's sine times h. Now h is the, the length of h here. So what is the value of that? 7.8. Now there is something missing because whenever you use the sine, the cos or the tan button, you have to include with your sine, cos or tan from Sokotoa, the angle. And that's why you use Sokotoa with angles, remember? Because we had an angle, we had to use Sokotoa, so the angle has to go somewhere, and it's going to go in here. Okay, for this question, we, we need to do sine 43 times 7.8. That will tell us the length of O. When you type that in to your calculator, you get 5.319, do a couple more, 587 on my calculator, 587. A good time to check if this is kind of the right value is, the, remember, this was the longest side. Longest side, always opposite right angle. 7.8 is the longest side. This is below 7.8, so that is a good sign. The answer was to three significant figures. So this can cost you quite a few marks if you can't round up numbers because they ask you to do this at the end of questions. 
So five or six questions throughout the paper. If you can't round up, you're going to drop those marks. So significant figures mean start with the first um, digit that's not a zero. So this is it's okay. Five is a non-zero digit. That's our first most significant figure. This is our second. And this is our third. You just count down the number. We're going to cut it off here. All right, so we're going to have these three digits. Because there's a nine in the next space, that's going to round this one up to a two. So the answer would be 5.32. That is the length of our side. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, if you are a bit sort of unsure on your soccer tower because it's a new topic for foundation, then go away and watch some more videos or get a revision guide and have a look at that about soccer tower.